if we look at our region today, then I would say we're one of the most prosperous regions in the world, economically, but also financially, innovative, cyber, technologies. And again, we're learning from each other. There's a lot we can learn from Sweden. There's a lot Sweden can learn from us. So exchanging information, meeting people, talking to people, and being close to our own people and explaining to our own people so that they will have belief in us, so that they will have belief in the better future of our region. I think this, uh, we have a good discussion here, and one of this is the economical uh, trade stability between our countries, and of course the security stability. And what we did in some years now, uh, increasing the, our cooperation between the Sweden and Lithuania, and also on the military base between the Baltics and Nordic, it's very important for the, for the future of development of our countries. Uh, both so-called hard and soft security, we are somehow more speaking about the possible military threats uh, in the region, the traditional risks, but I think we also should address issues like energy security. We should also address uh, the risks that are more called hybrid uh, risks, uh, like uh, information warfare, cyber security and so on. But then I think another very, very important issue is the perception. And I think it is very important also not to yield to those who are talking about uh, the Baltic uh, states as insecure place. We are part of NATO, we are part of EU, and I think that we are the most secure place uh, right now in Europe uh, in the recorded history. That also should be remembered. With all the risks we are discussing, this is the situation. This which is which is very stable. Well, Russia is trying to make us think that the problems of security in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are basically the business of those countries and maybe the Americans. And we should reject that framework of thinking. These are EU members and if they have a problem, then we have a problem. All EU members have a problem. And we must support them in terms of economics, in information, cyber and military security in every way we can.